start labeling. The primary label, VDS703, will go onto the red top. And just for precautionary reasons, just make sure you cover the uh, actual patient label with the sticker. And if we have saline specimens, they'll be labeled A and B, respectively and you label them the same exact way. A, and B. Okay, after labeling, uh, we're ready to uh, freeze them. But before we do, you gotta get a clean biohazard bag, and on the back of it, you're gonna write a couple of things. The first thing you write is the VDS number, we're on 703, you're going to write which specimens you're going to put in the bag. In this bag, we're going to put the red top, red, and B. We always keep A here at the hospital. And then also put Dr. Walsh on the bag as well. So now that our bag is labeled, we can start putting in the two specimens. The red one goes in, make sure it's sealed. And then B goes in. And in order to save space, we like to get rid of all the air in the bag. The best way to do this is just to place it right over the vent. And it should suck out all the air for you. And then just seal it, seal the ziplock, and we're ready to go freeze. So now I'm leaving microbiology and I'm going into serology, room 1429. This is where our freezer is located. Uh, this is our negative 20 degrees Celsius freezer. Notice a couple of things. First is the uh, thermometer on top. You're always going to need to remember the temperature you stored these specimens at. We're at negative 19.8 degrees Celsius. Inside the fridge you're going to notice a couple things also. First is our specimen box. This is where all of our VDS goes into except for A. So our labeled bag, VDS 70703 Red B Dr. Walsh goes into the box and then VDS 703A, 703A goes into the next available box, which will be box number 10. So we open box number 10, and we notice a grid system on here. So just fill it sequentially. We're going to put VDS 703 in A1. We're going to close the box. and we're going to close the fridge. Okay, now that we've uh, frozen our specimen, we can finish filling in the log. So we've already filled in the VDS number, the seven digit medical record number, and the nine digit account number. So next one is samples. We have red, A, and B. The next row is today's date, which is the 11th of September. The time is, let me check my watch. The time is 1720. And the temperature was negative 19.8 degrees Celsius. Uh, my initials and then my name. And the last bit of information is the location in box. We stored sample A in box 10, and location is A1.
one. And now we have uh, completed our log entry. So now we're uh, all done so we can get cleaned up. So just put the pipette back into the uh, correct box. Also close the box of the pipette tips. And put everything back into the RA box, including the binder. Close the box to the green tops. Back in there. Using. Yeah. I'm gonna run out of room. <laughs> and we're ready to go. And before leaving the room, we gotta turn off the hood. Make sure all the switches are on off, and it's okay. And uh, the last step is to uh, get rid of the sole gloves. So take the gloves off, put them into a biohazard bag, and then come over to the sink. And remember, always wash your hands before leaving the lab.